Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you're doing really well out there. And this is the good tarot that I'm going to pull a reading for you. We're just going to jump right in. Next 48 hour opening up to Leo spirit team, spirit guides, their angels, higher self. It's a general reading for the next 48 hour using the good tarot. All right, messages for Leos. What you got for Leos? And the first time I attempted this reading, you got um, <clears throat> the chariot as being the main issue, something to do with the chariot. Um, and the high priestess, so whatever this is, this is something that you're gonna know. Your intuition is gonna be really on point maybe very very accurate at this time maybe you need to check in with your intuition too it might be saying that that you need to check in with your intuition um maybe talking about a piscean energy or very similar to pisces so what does your intuition say and then this is your here's your challenge the nine of water Oh. The Nine of Water is about having a wish granted for yourself. Um, for yourself is the key. It's uh, You can have whatever you want, whatever you wish. I feel like you know this. I feel like you know this. Ace of Earth on the bottom. Intuitively, you know what energies attract what energies. I know you already know that. <laughs> You already know that okay <laughs> so, so we're still dealing or <clears throat> seven air is is a, when something is purposely being done um, behind somebody's back or um, in order with the intent to either deceive or fool or just not tell at all so it's some kind of, it, it feels like it's a strategy that involves not telling the other side or something to do with like, if you had sides, like I always see this card as if you had sides, you're on one side, they're on one side and you don't want to share like a, a strategy here or something like that. Um, lying, cheating, stealing. That's usually what they say with this card, seven of air. Um, you have the messenger of fire. Your signs are Pisces and Aquarius. And then I guess this could be Sagittarius. Uh, okay. It feels like somebody's still waiting on news from you or you're waiting on news. So is it's interesting that you got it for the heart space for where your heart is what are you what is what are you trying to what is you what are you trying to deceive your heart or not tell your heart what are you trying to we will clarify i'll clarify past energy The lover's card and it's definitely fit for leo's reading with the um lion on it love the lover's card um that would be at a crossroads if you're at a crossroads um getting along maybe with another person it's you know the point is to be on on this soul path or something like that somebody that helps you in your journey it says love togetherness we have magician in the reverse, but they don't usually take reversals in this deck, but I, I'm going to read it as, so we won't actually take it in reverse, but I'm going to read it as a little bit of, yes, there is this spirit. Is this spirit being totally embraced? The magician spirit, maybe not. There may need to be like some extra attention that we get to put on it with other cards. And I have the sun on the bottom. It's about feeling your magic again. It's about tapping back into what makes you magic. <clears throat> I 
have the king of air in the reverse. It's a sign that we need to get back on track when it comes to being disciplined or sticking to some kind of logical structure or way of doing something. Another um, Aquarius energy, possibly. <clears throat> wow. Okay, hangman in the reverse for how you feel. Like you don't want to wait um, or like you've already had a perspective. You may be feeling like, um, yeah, it might, be, it might be that you're feeling a little bit impatient and wanting to move forward. What's in the environment? The nine of fire, never giving up. Do you need to be more disciplined, right, to whatever it is that you're trying to attain for yourself because you'll get it. Um, we have some disappointment, sadness. This five of, of water, um, sometimes it refers to like a person that's um, drinking and, and, and thinking about all the things that have gone wrong and um, well, it's not a woe is me, but it's a feeling of um, heavy loss, disappointment, regret, regret. Yeah. But here's the energy of never giving up. So what is the outcome for us, for us Leos? So since this is the next 48 hour reading, maybe there's something about your um, discipline or, or finding... Um, Possibly somebody who is like an expert. Wow. Ten of water. And the fortune's wheel. And the fortune's wheel. I get so excited. So you've got ten, ten. So your bigger message here, Leo, is to have patience because all of this is turning for your highest good. Every single bit and piece of it. There is... Put your heart into it. This is telling... I don't know... But I feel like this is saying to us that um, there's something in the heart space. We need to put more heart into something, what we're doing. Less regret or disappointment. Less focus on the sadness and lack. More focus on being more disciplined. This can be changed, this king of air. Um, in the reverse, it's just kind of like... Um, not using the mind for the best way possible. So you can change that. And it looks like you do because at the, by the end of this reading, there's the Ten of Water and the Fortune's Will. Something goes extremely well. Um, and it's for not giving up even when there are times when we're, you know, manifesting. And, and that even though it is supposed to feel really good and happy and enjoyable there are periods where you're just going through other things in life too and um and so you know the enjoyment there it's uh sometimes we have to just get through periods and then and then you'll enjoy again or whatever so <clears throat> i feel like it has to do with that i feel like it has to do with being kind of exhausted but magician is you know here to say don't um don't let yourself down because you have anything that you want and you know intuitively what it is that you really need and there's something about not waiting anymore going forward let's find out well what's about what's on the heart seven of air what's on the heart Queen of Swords reverse and the King of Air reverse feels like a couple that were very good friends, maybe logically worked out at one time, but now they both don't do very well together or don't have aim or, um, or direction. This is an energy that doesn't really place boundaries. They get, they get kind of stomped over or... Um, they don't use their mind, they're illogical, they're detached from their heart space, not even logical though. That's that's how I see this. It's like not not even logical. You know it's crazy. Slurring all your words not making any sense. Black bear. 
but there that song can so anyway this would be like if you're not using your mind in the right in the right way okay so this is maybe undecided about a situation or we'll find out some more and it seems like these energies are not getting along very well libra gemini aquarius and pisces time out to heal a situation i think that's the lesson in the situation right here all together there's 12 swords but these two together there's 11 so the advice here is about taking time out rest and making sure that one we're not too hard on ourselves and that we're taking care to repair and heal our heart um, no matter how much we were in the energy of, of deception before, uh, <laughs> these energies might need time out from each other just to heal if they're characters in your life, if they're representing certain characters. This king of air definitely has to do with being more disciplined with it being in the reverse. Yeah. Um, also, it's saying that that's a, a rather pessimistic there's a rather pessimistic view um, of a situation not being that hopeful. It could be like uh, an Aquarius or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that feels that way. And that is going to be very slow to open up and trust again with the Fool. Slow to uh, take that first step to the rest of the journey. Um, it's because it's hard to look at this situation as, as real, real hopeful when we have all this concentration on lack, disappointment, and sadness with the Five of Cups. There's a lot of focus on what didn't go right. We're focused more on, feels like, the deceptive things, the things that didn't work. Poor communication. Communication could be better. So you're tired of waiting and you're getting exhausted. Tell me about how Leo feels with the hangman in a reverse. Ready to move forward and defend self. <clears throat> kind of sometimes waiting on a sign to move forward. Um, but this is to stand up, assert yourself and go after what you want. Yep. And there's the magician saying that that can that can happen. The emperor with authority, seven of swords, line sheeting, ceiling, six of cups in the reverse, parting ways, separating, parting ways, going and offering or getting another cup offered to you because of this beautiful strength to move forward and defend self is what I'm getting. Move forward and defend self. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. The magician. Ace of base. <laughs> that was ace of base. That was a long time ago. Okay, so five of water. Another hangman. Hangman, hangman. This is about the time that you're spent that you have spent reflecting on um, the things that you would do different. The regrets, the disappointments here, the hangman, um, the things that you would have taken more seriously. <sighs> Something to do. Wait, yeah, okay. Okay. Wouldn't have held on to heartache for such a long time. So you have this other perspective, right? With the hangman once it's like that and the hope and fear how you feel you don't feel like waiting anymore so maybe we're fearing waiting around some more but then we get the ten of water and the fortune's will the fortune's will is your destiny your fate is something really good and it's um wow maybe wrapped up into what you do as a career for a living for a life purpose there might be something that's opening up no, there is something that's opening up financially 
here that is going to be because you put the love first and because you had faith in the divine timing with that fortune's will. So because you had faith in divine timing, because, because you knew there was a divine plan and you put love first, there is something that you're manifesting that is ultimately some kind of stability that you have wanted, not just for yourself, but in your commitment to the rest of the people you consider family. <clears throat> and it goes really well. It goes really well. How do we change um, this energy here in the future with the king of air in the reverse? How do we change that? By making those choices and investments um, that are healthy for you. <laughs> those uh, things to invest in that include things like ourselves, um, education, uh, learning our lessons, um, starting anew, planting the seed for something good to grow. Those are those choices and decisions that you have like every day. This is a really good reading. I, I could go far into this reading i think um but something's gonna go really really good for you and i think it's just gonna be very different for most people so let's just see what kind of advice from the angels do they have i mean other than things kind of look like they're heading in the right direction lesson learned investment seed planted now it just says to grow <laughs> Okay, so advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. Uh, the Prince of Wands in the reverse. The Four of Power in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, clearly saying that, look, this is your energy of being inspiring and standing back in your power. Um, that is whatever whatever is, doesn't have you in your power is um, not going to work out for you because the king of wands has to be inspirational, has to embrace their power. And it feels like once you regain something back, fake it till you make it because you certainly will and you get your power back. You have the fortunes will twice. admitting when something's not working um regaining your power back the advice is to not be attached to a certain way not holding on to old just uh because not holding on to what we've got in a sense with um money and currency it can be referring to being okay to invest in something because knowing that that's kind of how the money gets circulated around. Um, there could have been something that didn't work out that makes us kind of weary about holding on to money. But they're clearly saying there's a new cycle about to turn going um, into some financially positive areas for you in your work. Okay, so this is good. So, um, Leo's not ever giving up. Good. Good news. What about these magicians? Both of them here. The tower and the page of wands. The tower is huge change and transformation. It's a huge shift. It's sometimes a disruption, but whatever this is, it's bringing something good in. With the page of wands, you have the dancer card. You have a fun, new, um, passionate beginning for you. It might be some. There might be some shaking up, the tower type energy. But here's this Ace of Cups, new loving beginning, needing to assert yourself, dealing with possibly a power struggle of some sort. But there's the loving new beginning, or love begins. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. And make sure choices are good. Like I said, that forest, muddled or unclear thinking. Key, successful outcome to your problems. Successful outcome to your problems.
cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life, bread, a period of prosperity and abundance, target, a goal-oriented person, desk, pay attention to your work, purse, pay attention to your finances, oh, there's a lot of paying attention here, firecracker is excitement, basket, recognition, reward for merit, kite, a vacation, kite, a vacation, Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Not unsuccessful plans. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. I have scales, keep your life in balance. Nice. And then face, I have secret admirer. All right, that's what I've got for you. Beautiful Leos, sending you love and light. Bye guys.